There is a magical place called Our Time. To the kids who come to Our Time, it really can seem like a magical place. I can honestly say that I found my voice in Our Time. These people here have literally saved my life. Our Time is an artistic haven for young people who stutter but it's also a place where friends are made, voices are found, and young lives are forever changed. Nestled in New York's Times Square, this nonprofit theater company is a first of its kind, devoted to helping kids accept their stutter and transform their fear into confidence. I was telling these kids, you know, you have to accept stuttering. Um, you can still work on it, you can still go to speech therapy and try to improve your, improve your fluency, but you should also start by saying, you know what, it's a part of me and it's okay. It doesn't have to ruin my life. It's not everything that I am. It's one part of who I am. Laura and Greg want to Taro Alexander is the founder of Our Time. He launched the theater company in 2001. He's no stranger to the stage, having performed in the off-Broadway hit Stomp and appearing on NBC's Law & Order. He has also stuttered since he was five years old. Seeing the courage that these kids have that I didn't have when I was their age, because I just spent my you know, preteen years and teenage years just hiding it, and they're putting it right out there. Every Saturday, participants ages 8 to 18 write and create their own original plays, songs, and short films, which they perform in New York City and around the world. The goal? To change people's misconceptions about stuttering, and in the process, learn more about themselves. My like past, it's it's not that like happy until like here. Danielle Diesu has been a member of Our Time for two years. The 18-year-old high school senior says she was hesitant to join. I actually hated it at first. I hated like hearing like people stutter because that showed me like you know how I sounded. But now calls Our Time home. She credits the company for helping her find more than her voice. For as long as I could remember, I didn't say what I felt because I stuttered. I always held back. I used to lock myself in my room, never talk to anyone, and, and used to think uh, 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 of things such as suicide. Our time is responsible f for bringing me back into this world. James Earl Jones, Emily Blunt, and even Tiger Woods. There are three out of the more than 50 million people in the world who stutter. The misconceptions about this speech impediment are staggering. Some of the misconceptions about stutterers is that we're stupid, uh, that you know we're not very bright, uh, we've got nothing to say. 60 Minutes correspondent Byron Pitts is all too familiar with the challenges of stuttering. Um, the first time I told classmates I wanted to be a journalist, they laughed. He chronicled his experiences in his book, Step Out on Nothing. Pitt says he learned to embrace the struggle and encourages kids to do the same thing. How fortunate we are, those of us who are stutterers. And I say fortunate because I was raised to believe that there are no stumbling blocks in life, only stepping stones, and that strength only comes from struggle. Acclaimed actor, director, and playwright Austin Pendleton has been an Our Time supporter for years. He says the nonprofit is an outlet he never had as a child. He has stuttered since the age of eight. Now, when I was a kid, <laughs> it was covered with shame. That whole issue. I mean, you were like, you felt like, why don't I tie a bell to my foot and I can walk around and be the town leper, is how it used to feel. Because there was no support system. And our time, is a good is a fantastic support system
This spring, Our Time joined with actors and musicians from across the country for its annual benefit gala. And every year at the gala, Our Time honors an icon who stutters. This year, Carly Simon received that honor. The gala gives the kids an opportunity to showcase their talents, face their fears, and a chance to discover their strength within. It's, it's hard, but once you find that strength, then, then there is no holding back. 